Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Chris Chavez here once again with Fandroid.com. Uh, today, I have for you guys a, a very special little video. This is going to be my preview video for Granny Smith uh, right here. And it comes to you courtesy of the same dudes that did Sprinkle and Sprinkle Jr. They're called Mediocre Games, and if you ever played those games, you'll know that um, this is probably going to be awesome because those games were totally rocked my sock. Uh, Sprinkle and Sprinkle Jr. or Sprinkle actually made my list for the top 20 games of 2011 and I'm thinking Granny Smith is going to as well so we're going to take a look at the game right here in our first look preview. Maybe I should turn this down. So here it is, Granny Smith and it is pretty awesome. Um, to classify it, I guess you would call it like some sort of uh, racer slash platforming stunt thingamajoo hooky. Uh, let's go ahead and just jump straight into the story. I want to show you guys what it's all about. So you have Granny here just chilling. Chilling on her porch, munching on some apples. And Granny loves them apples. And what's this? A fat little thief just jacked Granny Smith's apples. So it's up to her to dust off them old skates and get the apples back. So you can see here the object of the game is just pretty much uh, beat this little guy to all of your green apples and collect your green apples before he does to complete the level. And there's all kinds of crazy stuff along the way. Uh, let's just go ahead and jump straight into the game. You can see here you have some money that you can accumulate. I guess you're kind of like points that you can get throughout the game by collecting and hitting different paths and secret areas. And you can use them to buy little power-ups. You can buy little uh, baseballs that you can use to chuck at the thief and delay him. Little uh, banana peels that you can drop to slow him down as well. And a helmet to keep you from uh, eating, eating dirt or munching on grass, whatever they call it. And if you beat the game or do really well, you can unlock Scruffy and Stanley, which I haven't done yet. It's uh, Granny Smith's dog and Stanley. I'm assuming it's her, her hubby. But let's go ahead and jump into the first level of the game and I'll show you guys what it's all about. You can skip a level also by spending some of that hard-earned money, but we don't want to do that. We're going to go ahead and get moving. So you can see here, object of the game is to get the apples before the thief does. Pretty simple, right? Now you can jump, and then, oh man, oh, and it gets a little tricky because the longer you press the jump button, the longer she'll stay in the air, but she starts doing all these crazy tumbles, and you have to let go of the jump button right as she lands on her feet, otherwise you can really, let me have it show you, boom, land on your face, <laughs> grandma will land on her face, drop all your coins, you gotta get your coins back, oh, and that really sucks, but we're gonna get to some crazy, oh dang it, ah. So you can see it's hard, there's some like real-time physics and stuff, all this junk crashing around you, which is kind of neat. This was super easy, I must have missed an apple, I think it was inside the house. As you beat the game, you can go ahead and take a look at a replay of the level to see how your performance was uh, in this old-timey film type setting, which is kind of cool. So you can see here I collected 35 coins, I'm not gonna use them to spend on anything, but we're just gonna jump onto the next level where we get to learn how to use the crane. So, pushing the crane button will let you kind of do these crazy, funky, extreme type grinds on these uh, telephone wires and clotheslines. And, oh, easy, Grandma. Easy. I'm not going to make it. I made it. I made it. I made it. Okay, so I'm grabbing, grinding, gathering coins. Let's see if I can't. Oh, boom. Look at that. <laughs> and I got the apple. <laughs> it's so tight. Okay, whoop, here we go again. Grind in. Not letting go of that grind button. Alright, building up speed. This is good. Granny's hauling butt. Oh, and I'm going to do a little flip for a good measure. Got an extra 100 points. Why not? Only two out of three apples. So, I mean, I guess I can go back and get more apples if I liked. But, uh, I think you guys are kind of getting the, uh... Kind of getting the clue. So you can see the graphics are awesome. I mean, they look, look kind of like um, almost like a storybook in 3D, and everything's animated exceptionally well. There's cool, destructible stuff, and oh man, I mean that just looks awesome. And everything's high res and gorgeous looking. There's little piggies. 
Uh, of course, this isn't going to be my full review. This is just going to be a preview since this is just a preview copy that I have here. Um, oh man, I just totally ate it. Let me do a flip. Oh man, I'm losing momentum. I'm losing momentum. But you can see you get points for doing things like perfect landings and doing extra tumbles in the air. Oh man, I totally ate it again. Alright, level cleared, but at least I got three apples. And I beat the thief, so it's all good. Uh. Whoa, swing a loop de doo. Oh, I let go. No, where am I going? Oh man. Oh, this is getting nutty. Holy guacamole. Good landing. Oh no, I missed it. Oh, uh, get up there, Granny. Granny, get up there! I'm losing the apples. Back, get some air. Alright, here we go, here we go. Alright, we're doing alright, we're doing alright. Sometimes I wonder if it's just not better just to hold down the cane button the whole time. Since you're not really penalized for holding down the cane button. And you can just kind of cruise along with your hands in the air. Um, I think if you hold the cane button, it would be kind of cool to slow down Granny. Because then you wouldn't be, you know, just cheating and hold down the cane button the whole time. But that's fine. Let's move on. So you can see there's some crazy stuff going on. Some tricks. Little loop-de-loops. Oh, here we are in a new environment. This is a cityscape. Ah! Dang that thief. And so you can see I'm kind of like losing like pretty bad right here. Oh, little jump. There we go. Little jump. And if I were to spend these coins instead of hoarding them, I could actually buy the little power-ups like you saw before, like the baseballs to chuck at the thief. Or when I get ahead, I can drop some banana peels to keep him from jacking my apples. Alright, let's do little hops. Uh, little hops. Oh, let me grind. Ah! I Get up, get up, get up. Let's go. We're back into some farmland. One more flip for good measure. 64 points. That's how it's done, folks. Alright, moving along. I think this is the last level in the preview. Oh, oh man! Alright, go, 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 go. Go, Granny, go, go, go. She's a little old lady from Pasadena. Alright, keep going, keep going. Perfect landing. Dude, I'm losing speed. Man. I always get over ambitious with the flips. What in the world is happening? Go, jump. Holy cow, that was insane. On my feet, grinding. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Alright, I'm done. I guess this pretty much concludes our preview for Granny Smith. And you have a little replay button if you want to just feel like you want to do better. Oh man. Okay, that's fine. Go, go, go. Let's just exit out of this level. Back to the map. But you can see there's a ton of levels and then it keeps going to, I guess, new areas and stuff like the cityscape that you saw before. I have 200 coins that I could use. And you can actually buy more coins if you would like with the in-app purchases. I'm not going to be messing with that right now. But um, yeah, this is just, I guess, well, it was supposed to be a quick preview of Granny Smith for Android devices. Uh, this comes to you from the guys at Mediocre Games, the dudes that made Sprinkle. I hope this was fun for you to watch as it was for me to play. Uh, again, the game's coming out in August. You guys can look forward to it then, and we'll be having a full review uh, once it does. So be on the lookout. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.